1.8x plus 5.7x equals 1.2 plus 6.3. All right, clearly we have decimal places now, decimals. And notice that there's four terms, each have a decimal sign. And notice that they only have one decimal place after the decimal. So this is 1.8, 5.7, 1.2, and 6.3. So you look, for, you look at all the terms and you find the term that has the most decimal places, the most numbers behind the decimal. But in this case, they all just have one. And if you all just have one, that means you're going to multiply both sides of the equation by 10. If you found, for example, that one of these had a second decimal place, then you want to multiply both sides of the equation by 100. Let's say that one of them had a third decimal place, then you want to multiply both sides of the equation by 1,000. In this case, let's keep it simple. We had an equation where we had only one decimal place on every one of the terms, which means we're going to multiply both the left side and the right side of the equation by the number 10. That will get rid of these decimal places. Again, we have to distribute this over every one of these. We have to distribute this over every one of these. And 10 times 1.8x gives me 18x. 10 times 5.7x gives me 57x. 10 times 1.2 gives me 12. And 10 times 6.3 gives me 63. Okay, adding like terms together because now we have um, an equation that has no fractions, no decimals, and no parentheses. We don't have any terms with the variable on the right side. They're already all on the left side. We have all the constant terms on the right side, so we can skip, skip step two and three. Combine like terms, step four, 18 plus 57, that's 67, that's 75x equals 12 plus 63 is 75. Divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient, the number in front of x, cancels out, x equals 75 divided by 75 is 1, and there's our answer. That looks straightforward enough. Okay, let's do one where not all the numbers have just one decimal place and see how we handle that. How about this problem? 0 0.24, read that little dot there so we don't get confused, plus 1.5x equals minus 0.7x, minus 0.6x, that's what I have, plus 0.09. And let me get rid of this number, these, uh, this problem right here. So we're not cramped too tightly, it's cleaner. Okay, so again, step number one, eliminate fractions, decimals, and parentheses. Clearly we have decimals here, but notice that this number here has two decimal places, this number here has just one, this number here has one, this number has two. And the rule is, however many decimal places you have, you multiply both sides of the equation with a one and that many zeros behind it. So in this case, two decimal places, one with two zeros means multiply both sides of the equation by 100. So multiply this by 100 and multiply this here by 100. Okay, so let's do that. 100 times 0.24, that moves the decimal place over two places, so this becomes 24, plus 100 times 1.5, again, that moves the decimal place over two places, so this, become, this becomes 150x equals 100 times 0.6, move the decimal place over two places, so that's minus 60x, plus 100 times 0 0.09, move the decimal place over two places, we get nine. All right, so in one single step, we eliminate all the decimals. Always make sure that you multiply both sides of the equation with a one and two and the number of zeros that equates to the number of decimal places you find, the greatest number of decimal places you find in any one of the terms. At that point, now again, you have an equation that looks just like the others. You start with the next five steps. Move all the terms with the variable to the left. So the minus 60 goes to the left, becomes a plus 60. So 24 plus 150x plus 60x equals the nine stays behind on the right side. Next, we move all the 
constants to the right. So we have one left that needs to move to the right. So this 24 needs to go over here. We have 150x plus 60x equals 9 minus 24. Remember, when you cross equal sign, change that sign. Now we can combine like terms on both sides. So 150 plus 60 is 210x equals 9 minus 24 is minus 15. Now we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient, so divide both sides by 210. Cancels out, we have x equals minus 15 over 210. And don't forget step number six, it looks like we'll simplify that. Numbers are not even, so you can divide by two, but it does look like we'll divide both numbers by five or even by three. So let's start with five, that's easy. So we're going to divide both sides by five, so this becomes uh, 15 divided by 5 is a minus 3, uh, 210 divided by 5 is 42, and now you can divide both sides, both uh, numerator and, and denominator, I should say, by 3. So divide by 3, we get minus 1 over uh, 3 goes into 42. 14 times. There we go. And uh, that's it. X equals minus 1 over 14, and we're done.